Good morning, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking reading. Firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, for following me and giving me the support that you do. Um, I love reading all your messages, I read them every day. Um, some of you make me laugh, some of you make me feel very humbled by what you say to me. So I want to say thank you because it keeps me very, very real and very alive. Um, there are a number of things coming up for me, um, although at the moment things are very quiet, I think because of COVID, um, or it's, there's a sort of quiet time, maybe it's end of year, end of financial year, um, it has been a little quieter than normal. Um, so at the moment we're sort of doing other things while we have an opportunity. So today Linda, the Psychic Pinup and I will be going live on um, Facebook. Uh, you can find or the link would be on my Facebook page if you're a, um, a liker of my page means that you can come over and join us today 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time which I know will be great for a lot of people overseas I'm molting um, we also have a platform event on the 1st of August too so if you are looking to join us there everything again will be on my Facebook page I'm going to get a competition up and running as well, while well, things are quiet, to give away a free reading. Um, we also have an event in Goulburn coming up too. So any of those events anyway will be on my page. <laughs> so come on over and have a look and join us if you're in Australia, but you can jo join the platform event no matter where you are in the world, because that will be done via Zoom. And we will be in pyjamas, <laughs> so it'll be fun. Um, I think that's all I want to mention today. I do want to thank the people who come over and support me on TikTok. I'm about to hit 40,000, so um, if you are um, on TikTok, please come over and join me. Of course, it's the Aussie goddess, as it is everywhere. Um, but enjoying the journey there greatly. It's a lot of fun. All right. We're going to use the Romantic Tarot for your reading this morning. All right. Okay. Let's see where we're going. All right. So we've got the Five of Pentacles coming out. Um, the Five of Pentacles is a bit of a planet card for me. It sort of talks of um, poverty. It talks about poverty at a financial level and it also talks about poverty at a far greater level. Um, this is that feeling of lack. The feeling of lack, but in the traditional tarot, we see a church and we see two people quite beaten up outside the church. And the thing is with lack, it's in your mindset. It's not outside of yourself. It's, it's within how you think about things, how you proposition yourself I want to say so this card sort of talks about the fact that these two people are outside the church looking very beaten up when in fact there's a light on in the church and there's people inside which sort of gives rise to this idea of what you think about may not be actually how it is but if you get caught up in that negative thinking or that sort of poverty or lack mindset then you can sometimes refuse to see things around you whether you do that um, consciously or inadvertently you are closing down everything around you so there's a real call here for you to take note of how you think about things rather than as looking at them as the observer so sometimes we do get caught up in that lack mentality all right, because we have the Nine of Swords coming through here. So I'm, I'm talking to people at the moment who are feeling perhaps a little, I want to say jaded. It's got that energy of just feeling a little bit off. The Nine of Swords is about anxiety. It's about sleepless nights. It's about worrying about your demons. It's not really there, but it's worrying about it. So I feel like here... I'm speaking to people who are going through some sort of stage where they're feeling their needs aren't being met. Um, but that's only the way that you're seeing things at the moment. What the universe is saying, if you see things from the place of abundance, then you won't get stuck in this mindset and experience this lack and this anxiety because you're looking at things in a very different way. 
it's sort of like that flicking the flipping the switch thing you know like when you're feeling down and you the more you become the observer the more you start to identify your I guess your negative habits or your negative ways of being the more conscious you become so when you become more conscious you can flip it straight away um, and I know that a lot of us learn to do that with negative thinking so if a negative thought comes in your mind you go that's negative and switch switch flip the switch <laughs> Um, and that's it's the sort of energy I'm getting through here. I feel like spirit is saying to you, don't get locked down in that negative energy. Things are about to change here with the justice card. So that's nicely timed there. So the justice card is a card that talks about things being put right in the universe. So maybe at the moment you're experiencing something instead of sort of looking at times when things did turn around, instead of focusing on the, the gratitude or the feeling good about yourself, you're getting locked into this sort of negative way of thinking rather than understanding that things are about to be put right in the universe. There is balance that's required here. And I feel like a lot of you are wondering where this is, why, aren't I'm, why is it happening for me? I've got a lot of this energy lately and I feel that there's a lot of people out there and maybe again it's due to this pandemic. I'm not really sure whether it's just the energies in the universe at the moment but there is certainly this energy of people being sick of waiting, being tired of being told something's happening and it's not or you know being tired that something's expecting something to change and it doesn't and I guess the thing is you need to start looking at it differently here. Because this card tells me that things are about to change. Don't be locked in your way of thinking. Or understand that your way of thinking is the way you think. <laughs> I guess that's the easiest way to, to say it. Um, but it's easy to get locked into that negativity. There is an offer coming your way here. I have the Knight of Wands coming through here. Oh, he's a page. I think he's the page in this deck. Doesn't matter. Either way, you're getting a message here. The only difference between a page and a wand is a page is something that includes messages and the wand actually, uh, the knight actually takes action on what he wants to do. But this isn't a card of action. It's certainly a card of romance, of passion, of wanting something. And somebody is coming towards you here, possibly a Leo, Sag or Aries to make some sort of offer here. When I look at this, I feel like you've been waiting for some sort of offer to come through. I feel here you've been sort of giving yourself that negative beat up about it perhaps not happening, you're not worthy, it'll happen to somebody else, not for me. Um, that sort of energy coming through here. So um, I really feel strongly that whatever this message is coming through, possibly from a king of pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, for some of you this may be work. Oh, I want to say that to you. So if you're waiting for a job to come through, if you've been wondering why you haven't been getting that and you're beating yourself up because you're not, it's really interesting, isn't it? Because sometimes when I think about this energy, I think, you know, this is just you beating yourself up. You can't make things go any quicker. You can't change things. All of that sits in the hands of whoever is making that decision. And here it looks like the universe has that in hand. So I'm feeling here some sort of messages coming through. If it's about a job with the King of Pentacles here, about money, uh, settlement with the Justice card, something to do with courtroom, um, something to do with the courts. But uh, it could be justice in terms of legal justice or karmic justice, but something is about to be put right here. This King of Pentacles tells me that something is about to be brought back into balance. Things are about to change. Things are about to be on the up and up and start moving in your favour here. I'm going to pull another card here. So we have the Eight of Swords. There we go with the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Nice little finish to the mini read here. The Eight of Swords is a card of going round and round in your head. The over-analysis paralysis. That mental confusion. Uh, that energy of being stuck when of course it's all in your head and you can escape from this at any time by just changing your mindset but when you're stuck in this energy it creates a feeling not just of lack but it creates that victim mentality which is what we've got coming through very very strongly here so maybe for the people I'm speaking to just a uh, you know an awareness of the energy that you're going through is not how it is 
the energy that you're feeling is not how it is. You are just thinking that because you are trying to control a situation that you cannot control. So there's always this energy of just giving it up to the universe. Just trust that your higher self has this in hand because we have the Ace of Swords. So if you're waiting for communication, if you're waiting for a conversation, if you're waiting for answers to something, whatever it is here, this sword tells me that there is clarity coming to help you get out of this lack mindset, this sort of energy of things not moving, things not happening. Don't when things don't happen, don't don't um, over catastrophe catastrophize. <laughs> I can't say it this morning. Um, don't get don't get too bogged down in making it the worst possible scenario that you can come up with because um, some people do have catastrophic thinking. See, I'm right now, um, and they do go to the worst possible extreme. Um, we've all done it, you know. Um, I can think of a really good example. I was walking down the street one day and I said hello to somebody and they didn't say hello back. And I thought, I wonder what I did wrong. Did I say something? So I started going over things in my head. Did I say something wrong? Did I do something wrong? What did I do? Did I hurt their feelings? Did I, did I, what did I do? They didn't talk to me and I'm really upset. So then of course I go home and I'm thinking about it all day. What did I do? I didn't mean to hurt them. I don't know if I did. I don't know what I said. I went over everything again. And I tried so hard to, to understand what I'd done. When in fact, if I'd have picked up the phone, I would have found out they didn't even notice me, didn't even see me. They were off in a world of their own, had a meeting on that they had to attend and what were, were not really focusing on what I'd done and of course I'd said hello and walked straight past them too so I hadn't sort of stopped and said hi you know how are you going or whatever and I think that that's what we do as human beings when we're in those mindsets we tend to get locked into the idea of what have we done wrong is it our fault do we have some sort of you know energy here that we need to unblock what is it with us at the moment and I feel like this here is about to hand you the truth so that phone call I made early later in the day and said hey, I saw you out today and you didn't speak to me. Did I sort of do something wrong or where, why? Where did I sit? Where did I walk past you? I didn't see you. Where was that? I was like, oh my God. And I've strung out all day thinking I've hurt someone and they hadn't even seen me. They hadn't even noticed me. They were too intent on going where they were going. They hadn't even noticed. So I feel like for some of you here, this is the sort of energy you're in at the moment where you're sort of beating yourself up, trying to find reasons for why things aren't happening instead of just trusting that the truth will come out. It will it will show in time. All right. OK, so we may have reversals in my deck. That's really interesting. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so let's go with reversals this morning. OK, so we have the four of cups in reverse. This is really interesting because the four of cups upright talks about refusing a cup because you're bored with the way things are um, and you don't want to take the cup because you feel that you already have had that before and it's not turned out well for you so you're refusing to take the offer from the universe I feel like this offer is on hold here I feel like you may have made an offer to someone maybe that's why you're getting really um, stewed about it um, there is this energy here Maybe with the, you know, if this is in reference to a job situation or another sort of situation where you feel like your cup wasn't taken. I want to say to you here, your cup may not have been taken, not because it was refused, but because somebody's put it on hold here. So if it's a job you've been applying for or some sort of position you've been applying for, there's a very good chance here that something to do with the job or something to do with that situation is on hold at the moment. I would strongly suggest you give them a call and ask them what's going on. I've had it happen before where they've gone, oh no, we don't have the funding at the moment. We've decided to pull the job back. Um, you know, there's all, all sorts of things that can happen in this situation. So don't be so hard on yourself, questioning yourself. Okay, so we have the five of wands here. That is you questioning yourself there, definitely. All right, we have the two of swords. Oh, I think that's the decision and we have the chariot. There is some sort of decision to be made here and somebody's still on the fence with an offer that was made to them. 
somebody is still in a stalemate energy going backwards and forwards in their own head trying to understand what was offered here but they're not taking this offer at the moment with this four of cups in reverse i feel here with this five of wands two of swords energy this person is very much overthinking something so if this is you and you offered your cup to someone applied for a job offered somebody something and they didn't take it it's not because they didn't want to take it it's because whatever this is is coming with a sort of some sort of decision around moving forward and they can't make that decision at the moment so the cup is sort of on hold here It just looks like with this Two of Swords that it's something that this person has to make a decision about and you need to understand they're not making a decision because of anything you did or said or your lack or what you didn't have, whatever it was, this person is just not in the position at the moment to take this cup. They want to move forward with the chariot here, they do, but they can't at the moment. They're in this mindset here so let's see why okay so for, for you who are in a job here um or waiting for a job no it's two of cups here two of wands okay i feel like for some of you here or perhaps for a lot of you this is a love offer this person wants to rush in they want to i want to say they want you really badly here that's a real driven passionate energy coming through here with this knight of wands this morning this is a person going and wants to go after their two of cups they desire to walk a new pathway here okie dokie all right so we have the six of cups coming through so for somebody you're oh and the devil card you already know this person ten of wands something has to be closed out before this person can take to make a move now, if this is a job for you and I'm talking to somebody about a job, an offer, a business offer, whatever it is here, I feel that whatever this is about is whoever's on the other end of this wants to offer you this. But there seems to be some holdups here with this devil energy. So I feel like if you're after a job, the person who wants to give it to you may have a bit of uh, friction or pushback from somebody else there. So I feel like something's in the works here. So don't give up on it yet. But certainly don't overthink it and think you did something wrong. I didn't do well at the interview. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That, that sort of thinking is not helping you here. Something is still in the works here. But I feel like there's some sort of... I haven't got anything that says it to me. But there feels like there has to be some sort of change in the way this goes forward with this Ten of Wands here. So there's like a something needs to be rethought or re-put out there. Um, and I mean, I've seen it with jobs before where they've gone to put a job out and then somebody's decided they want to call it a different name or they want to delegate it to a different in, uh, to a different area. But whoever I'm speaking to here, you're dealing with somebody, if this is a love offer, you're dealing with somebody who's having trouble separating from some sort of energy here. Um, uh, it's sort of ego energy but it feels very much like codependency to me here this person's struggling with their own fears and their own worries here about separating i feel like with this devil energy though there is a sort of a very strange feeling with this six of cups two of cups i feel like somebody's still going through a lot of healing here a lot of twos in this reading too so there's a really strange energy. I just want to get into it a little bit more. All right, let's just go over. Wow, it's already a long reading. All right, so the five of pentacles with the nine of swords. If you're in your head worrying about a situation, I don't think you'll have to worry much longer with the justice card. I feel like an offer is coming your way from somebody who wants to bring stability to this situation. I feel like this person just wants the stability back. Um, there is an energy of being stuck in your head, but also this beautiful energy of something being being shown to you or being revealed to you that will stop you questioning something. 
So if this is somebody from your past that you are waiting on, I feel like this person wants to come in and give you this clarity. But to be honest, I see this energy here and I feel like they've tried to make some sort of change here. They've tried to um, see things from a different perspective. They've tried to work out how they can accept your offer. But when I see this devil card here with this ten of wands, I feel like it, they're finding it very difficult to close something down and move forward here. I feel like the, like with all these twos, it's like um, the, the two of cups. The two of pentacles is the only thing that's missing here. So I would say this person's having trouble getting some sort of balance in their life. They look like they want to move forward. They feel very passionate about you, very driven to come towards you. However, I feel like this chariot just isn't quite ready to go forward. Um, okay, so you have Capricorn Cancer here as well. So you could be dealing with either of those. But it's like this person's trying, really trying to understand how to move forward. But this devil energy makes me feel their codependency is really starting to play a toll on them here. And they know that in order to, to take up this cup that was offered, they need to make huge changes here. And they're having difficulty trying to understand how to make the changes. I feel this is really strong mental. Maybe this is sort of the person with the five of pentacles. Nine of swords energy, that, that energy of lack, not being able to make something happen. Wanting it, but not being able to put it into motion. All right, let's just get some clarifiers here. All right, we have the King of Cups on the bottom, so you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. I have the High Priestess coming through here. Wow, with the Queen of Swords and the Emperor. Okay. This person definitely sees that you have a really strong connection. I feel like this energy here, when I'm looking at it, I feel like this person um, has probably been trying to make these changes for some time, but they don't seem to be able to get past this devil energy. But when I look at these three cards, I feel like this person totally and utterly understands the situation between the two of you. I feel like somehow or another there's a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius person in between your two energies, which could mean you're dealing with some sort of third party decision. Um, but I feel like this person is trying to um, trying to channel their own Queen of Swords here. They're trying to work out how to get to you through this energy. Um, so, you know, I do those readings on TikTok where I talk about the energies between you. And this is what I feel like is happening. It's like your person is coming up as the emperor. You're coming up as the high priestess. And in between you, there's this energy that's not allowing you to move forward together. So somebody could be dealing with a person um, or somebody could be dealing with just this energy of being able to break through. But I feel like whoever I'm speaking to is starting to understand the energy that's holding them back now. So I feel like they may make some swift moves very shortly. There does seem to be contact to you. So I wonder here if your person is going to perhaps contact you if it's a job that you've been waiting for you know perhaps you are going to get a call to say that we're rethinking the role something's changed um, whatever it is you're waiting for I feel like you're going to get communication soon um, which is going to help you see why this has taken so long but I feel like for some of you here your person is dealing with a very difficult energy to get through all right, we have the card of the giveaway here, which is 23. And interestingly enough, again, that's five. All right. The giveaway is the gift you offer to life without attachment, without expecting anything back. You can only give what is truly yours, a smile, a nod of encouragement, a gentle touch and a kind word. This is not giving to others what you no longer want, like the sweater that no longer fits, but gifting that which is most precious, your authentic love and genuine feelings. Make a list of 10 people and things of what you are grateful for. Ah, connect with the feeling of gratitude. Okay, so I understand what's happening here. The giveaway comes to ask you to feel the same gratitude without needing anything or anyone to inspire it and to share this gratitude with those you meet. 
As you offer thanks, your heart opens and you start realising how much life has given you. You heal your feelings of scarcity and open yourself to the abundance that surrounds you. The giveaway invites you to be in the flow of life as you give freely and move freely. So what they're saying here is that when you're in that lack mentality or that anxious energy of feeling like things aren't working out for you, you're not getting the job, you're not getting the love, whatever it is for you, Instead of being in that energy and stuck, put yourself into the energy of gratitude and, and think about all the things that you are grateful for. If you're having difficulty with that, be the observer, see what you're doing, really understand your energies and make a conscious attempt to at least be kind to yourself and understand that there's a lot of things that you have to be grateful for, even if you can't see them in that moment. All right, I will leave you with that. Thank you.